Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. Uh, d yeah, I, I, I had to go pick this up again. <laughs> Sorry. But we really do need it for something. And that thing's gonna be very soon, so... Yeah. Does it still have the same debris on the bottom of it? It does indeed. Boo! Retro reusing cutscenes! <laughs> Ew! It would have been a neat detail if it would have uh, not had those. If it didn't have it, yeah. That would have, that would have been neat. I mean... I have to give it a 9 out of 10 now, uh, because of this, but still, it would have been neat. Fuck! Almost perfect. To think, you could have had the lofty goals of a 9.257. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just wondering how much more work that would be. The, how, how many more weeks would that add to the dev time? Well, the way, I, the, the way it always is, more than we think. Oh, definitely. It's that's, like, that, that'll be an easy... It never is. No. Of course it isn't. Loading. Come on. Come on. I was just here. There I'm, we go. I'm glad I'm not the only one who shoots the door more when it doesn't open immediately. It just feels like it makes it go faster when in reality it doesn't. It's like pressing the button on the elevator or pressing the walk signal go, button. Go, 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 go. Okay. Even, even though that does less than nothing. <laughs> it truly does look... How the hell did that happen? I grabbed onto it and it didn't... I think the funniest experience I ever had with one of those crosswalk lights is when I was constantly tapping the button. Just going, come on, come on. And then it didn't do it for my side. It did it for all the others. Like, okay, I deserve that. You ever tap the ones that make noise? Beep, 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 beep. Back on campus, uh, they would actually tell you to walk too, you know. Walk. 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 Or like some kind of, you know... Yep, the, the chirp. Yes. Yes. A very attentive bird that's telling you to cross. How, 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 how helpful. I love that little bird. He has shown me when to cross and it's just... It's just amazing. It's the same bird that's inside my phone telling me when there's an update on Twitter. Do, do you think... The person who thought to add sound effects to the crosswalks, do you think he's like loaded with money right now? Or was it, or was it a necessity based on an ordinance, and then it just caught it just kind of caught on? Yeah, because who is that mysterious person who thought, oh yeah, blind people walk? I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe it started in like one city. It's like we need to have uh, sound recognition for for our crosswalks, and then the idea kind of caught on another another city. That's cool. Victory! Oh, cool for the constant war. Victory! We, the lords of science, mishandled <laughs> the use of our knowledge. The devastation <laughs> uh, of the war robbed us of the rare resources necessary to fuel our war engines. Without our machines, we were unable to stand up to the primal armies, and they overran the enclaves of many science lords. What few remained fled into dark places, polluted wastelands, even the bravest of primal warriors would not dare enter. Whatever joy there, what there may have been amongst the victorious was quickly stamped out by the grim reality surrounding them. Brio, their cradle, their sacred home, was on the verge of death. Yeah, I'd call that a victory. Science rules. We did it, but the entire planet's fucked. Alright, we got here a really annoying enemy. It's a Fargal Hatcher. <laughs> Able to jam missiles. They got Fargal Wasps. Pss, pss. Uh huh. Did you just call a cat wasp? I think I kind of hate that creation I just came up with. They have annoying shields. Okay, well. But we can ignore him for right now. Because we gotta do one thing to get out of here. Melt that bit of slag. Hop in here and activate this golem. Take me away, buddy. Well, I'm just gonna go over here for a little bit. Uh, ah. That is some hot fire. Holy cow. Just gonna sit back down after there. that extremely hot belch. And he'll never move again for the rest of eternity. I'm assuming nothing happens when you jump back in. He doesn't, like, try to melt the door again. Well, he can't. The bomb slot's closed. Ah, uh, okay. This is decline. Hmm. 
Forgotten in exile, a creature of myth, I, the last lord of science, worked tirelessly to protect myself and this world. I crafted magics and machines to bring life back to the wastelands. I found a new source of natural energy in the land and called it Fuel Gel. I vowed to atone for the devastation inflicted upon Brio, caused by both science and war. Yet while I toiled, the primal slipped slowly into barbarism. With no science lords to hunt, they turned on each other, tribe against tribe. Magic was lost to them, and they became as savage as the beasts that they... Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad stuff. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. You got a miss, a shit missile over there and some rubble over there, but uh, I think I know what to do. Drop it! At first I thought you called it a shit missile. <laughs> Another what shit missile to What are you talking about? This ain't Metroid Prime Hunters. Hey, hey! Shit missile. Right on the tongue. Don't R lower it. Right, wait, right no, on what? the tongue. No. Oh. Wow, that was a sturdy foundation. You're really confident in that one, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here it comes! Boosh! Awesome. That is a thing that only happens once. Who's the jerk off that put a ship missile expansion in that cage and then said, you know, nobody's gonna be able to put the head back on the statue? Some dumbass know nothing lord of science. Yeah, seriously, what was your hypothesis? For, for something like that, science lord. Jeez. Science rules. Well, we got half of the bridge here. We can't get to the other end. But what we can do is wait for this to come by yeah. and hip! Hip! Tap! Ooh. Hip! Ooh. Got it! Oh, that's an E-Tank! That was an E-Tank! Oh, shoot! That's awesome! And then we drop on down Whee. and- Whoops! <laughs> uh, yes! Alright, we we gotta go open up the other side now. Okay. It's gonna be a real roundabout way of doing it, but, uh... I'm- I've got nothing better to do, how about you? Well, I've gotta talk over Metroid, but, yeah, that's about it. Oh, shoot, I'm a part of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I hope we didn't start yet. Uh, well, uh, well you're, we're about seven minutes in. No, no problem. Crap! All right, well, uh, hey, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Open the door, I'm late! Come on! I'm late! <laughs> they probably have to do a lot of heavy lifting in this area. I, I, I again have to mention, this is the launch version of Metroid Prime 3. Not the trilogy version, where they kind of fixed some of the loading times. I, I was about to say, how, I, I've got an idea of how they did that. It's mainly just deloading places that you're way far away from. But I'm probably yeah, just just some more optimizations here. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this place has a lot of moving parts. I'm noticing. Yes. A lot of huge rooms that you need to load in. So to save on some of the processing, you could deload some rooms that you're way far away from. Maybe it loads more stuff and deloads other stuff at, uh, at appropriate times. I, I don't know. Game dev is hard. Because uh, that's that was one of the interesting things about watching uh, Metroid Prime 2's speed run is a lot of the times they burn. Damn it, burn! They find a way through the walls, and just the walls are loaded, not the rooms themselves. That's how they save on processing. Right. And I think the doors are the the other things that are uh, fully loaded. God, this is taking too long. Well, we can at least try and... Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, well, well. Well, it's a good thing we don't have a bestiary where we have to kill one of every monster. All right. Well. Oh, this should be good. At least I think they've... Uh, Stopped aggroing on me, so I think we'll be okay to make it across. Ooh, now got just bored. To, gotta wait here and oh, oh shit, oh shit, no, no! All right, all right, that tears it. You're gonna die. You have to go hyper. Come on, come on. Well, it was that easy. Sheesh. Well, not always that easy. Sometimes he puts up a shield, and then you, you bounce right off. Come on, UDJ, what's the problem? That seemed extremely easy. It seemed extremely easy, didn't it? I mean, I could have done it my free try. That guy exists just to give, just to harass you in this room. Oh, I know. That's all that's for. Oh, I thought you were talking about the stupid character I came up with. Oh, no. But... <laughs> that Fargle Hatcher! <laughs> Wait a minute, he's in the room with us? Oh, he's behind my couch? That's just, that's just a meta, okay? Oh, just okay, okay. <laughs> Really a uh, harrowing kind of spider ball track here. Oh, I love this. This is what I live for in Metroid Prime. 
That was the one part I enjoyed about the original, was you finally getting the spider ball and being like, Oh my god, I'm having the best time. Oh, this should be good. Whoop. We gotta do a double bomb jump here. Ew. Get, get the timing wrong here. It's kind of hard doing when you're, like, on the wall, Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, uh. Oh, come oh, on, that, that should've been close. it. It's almost uh, like it's trying there to... There we go. It felt like it wanted to bounce you outwards instead of upwards. I, I call that the spider ball. That's just that. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we got it, though. All good. And then we drop down here. Oh, right where we need to be. Sweet. For a third golem. Hey, buddy. Where are you gonna take See, me? we used fire, and he used fire to melt that door, and then we used electricity to create to activate the spider rail, and then we use ice, and then he, get this, uses ice! You know, I saw green, I thought wind. I thought he was just gonna blow you somewhere else. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a big straw. <laughs> Sam is the spitball, they call Again! Us. Again! Again! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ah! ah! Why do they make these platforms gun. like this? Oh, at least they got rid of the lava that you can't get hurt from. See, I thought they, these are supposed to be uh, screw attack jumps, but nope. Just regular... Yep. Just regular platforming. Just regular. And, like, even still, you have to come on this go ledge over here. Up. Screw attack over there like that. There you go. Or there's a platform behind the ice, I just noticed. What? Yeah, I just saw that, too. Shut up. <laughs> Judging. I was judging. He's telling me to shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Pasty was having fun. I can tell. He always is. It's Metroid Prime 3, goddammit. Oh, this should be interesting. It's never a bad Metroid game. Is this fuel? This is fuel gel. It's all fuel gel. Oh, dear lord. Crystallized fuel gel. So, that journal entry where the, the science lord was talking about inventing fuel gel, or finding fuel gel, that's very intriguing, because hasn't Fuel Gel been in the entire series thus far? No. Oh, just this game? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... Maybe they used Fuel Gel for stuff, and this is basically uh, crystallized uh, combustive crystals. Crystal, crystal Pepsi, yes. S sort of, yeah. All right, you, you need to stop. There you go. Oh. oh, that was... One more. That was a pro move. One more. There yeah! Yeah! You have to be the ball, and this is just like this. Be the ball. And this one's pretty self-explanatory. And there's some lore behind us that I missed, but we'll come back here in this room again, and we'll get it. <sighs> don't scare me like that. We don't have much left. We need to get all of it. Just, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just mentioning it. Okay. That's yeah, fine. Alright. Shoot that, shoot that. That. That almost looked like a face. Oh! Now we're back up here. Well, that's fun. Okay, now it's time to do a gigantic roundabout. We both have to get something to. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> we both have to collect something that mm -hmm. our ship can grab. And we also have to bring it to that place to put down to get that certain collectible. The place where we put the head? The first time? No. Oh. The place where we were just at, where we dropped down. Mm. The place that has the one lone collectible that we haven't got yet. I did see that, yes. Okay. Again, a little bit of a roundabout way to do it, but it's the way to do it. We're in the neighborhood. We can call here without any... Any problems? Oh my god, coming in a bit too hot! <laughs> She's got great thrusters. <laughs> I was just thinking, the Chosa teaching Samus how to drive. Oh no, 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 that's a bush! <laughs> and now that you can drive a vehicle, you can definitely drive a spaceship. You can drive a stick, you can drive a spaceship. <laughs> Drive a Wrangler, you can drive the Normandy. <laughs> if you can safely drive a Ford Pinto without blowing up, you can drive anything. 
now we gotta go to the Thorn Jungle Air Dock. The place where the constant war is happening. There's also this place, too. Constant war just everywhere, apparently. So we got the, the jungle area, which is the biggest area. That's where the constant war is happening. Then we got Brio Fire, which is where... More... More constant war is happening, but it's hot. And then we have Brio Ice, which is just desolate. Yeah, because everybody froze. Or everything froze. And made it. Look at that. Per perfect landing. Man, I'm good at my job. Excuse me, Miss Aaron, can you park my car for me? Jingles keys. Eh. Sure. Metro I'll park your car. Metroid Valet. I know what to do with people like you. Crashes the car. Um, excuse me, uh, I can park your car and take it somewhere so I won't get hurt. <laughs> Is that Samus? No, that's the valet girl. Okay, good. <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> I hate you! Oh my god! So you know how you know you know how you know if your planet's fucked or not? Uh I mean I could hazard a guess. I mean that's a big indicator right there. Well, uh you know your planet's fucked when most of the enemies in your planet have been replaced with phasoids. Yeah. Most of what we're going to be facing from here on out in Brio are phasoids. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's that's like a, a fatal diagnosis when you're talking about planets and phazon. Like, your only hope now is for me to destroy all phazon in the universe. That's going to take at least a, a couple more months, maybe. Yeah, a few hours, maybe. Nice job on that missile expansion. We'd love to see it. 230 missiles. That's a lot. Like, way more than we need, but it's what we have. Let me guess, 25 more? So, five missile packs? I think we're running we're uh, running low. Because it's normally 255 in a Metroid game. Otherwise, we just crash the game. Let's see, we're, there's 51. I think that one was number 45. 51... 51 times 5 missiles apiece. No, 255. It's 255, yes. Alright. Uh, See, that, they don't seem like much of a threat. I know they are a threat, but to us at this point in time in the game, they're not much of a threat. It would be more of a hassle to go into hyper mode and destroy these things. Correct. It's just easier just to run past them. Also, this, there, there's, there's so many of them, too. There's, this planet's lost anyway. Right? Like, like, am I understanding this correctly? Science lords are gone. Yeah, all the science lords are dead. Everything that's left is just primal uh, Brionians, which are just every man for himself, essentially. Don't think they even have any loyalties. Here's more uh, Shriekers, if you if you miss them. Yep. This place does look worse for wear. The the phase on infection is really good art design. Oh, I know. Just, just something about glowing fucking... Pustules? Yeah. Pustule, fungi, cancerous, yeah. tumors, just, ugh. And then, of course, we have mobile gloop that has now been introduced to us. Alright. This is the place. Oh yeah, I remember this place. There's a thing we need. That thing. Man, we haven't been here in a while. I know, I know. It's the beauty of backtracking. We wiped the pirates out, and yeah, they were all replaced with phazoids. Ew. It's like the phazoids are like the missing link between Metroids and the X-Parasites. Don't want to think about that. I just, I think that's where Prime 4 is going to go. Phase on X-Parasites. Just to make it the worst thing ever. I don't know if they'd be able to do that unless Metroid Prime 4 takes place after Dread. They'd have to add it to the canon. Oh, that would be difficult. Would it? Well, not. I mean, fans have. Uh, I mean, fans have promptly placed this after Super Metroid and before Metroid 2. Wait. No. Wait. That's that. 
Wow, the Metroids came back! Wow! After the first Metroid, but before Metroid 2. There we go. There we go. You just thought of Other M, didn't you? I didn't want to. Oh, look at you. I knew I you had a want... soft spot for that piece of crap. Yeah, it's, it's soft spot. It's, it's, it's soft it's, like poop. It's, it's a fucking bruise on me is what it is. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Yeah. Ow. It hurts when I touch it and it's turning pink. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a dark dead. All right, you. I gotta get rid of this guy or else he's gonna give me nothing but problems. No, oh, cool. Come it's on! Completely deflects everything. Put up your fucking mouth! That's the only time he's unshielded. Yep, it is. Ah, fuck you then. Really annoying enemy to pop in this time. Well, games need to get harder. A little bit. It's just obnoxious, though. It is, yeah. It's the only time we'll, we'll see it, I think. Uh, unfortunately, that will take down your score to 9.15. This game just gets worse and worse. God, why do people like this? Throw it to the sharks. There's there we the go! Lore. Yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah. Easily missable. And this is, of course, Struggle of Exiles. As the followers of the primal tradition celebrated their victory, a number of surviving science lords gathered in a hidden sanctuary. It was there that our foolishness became obvious, and we regretted ignoring the Chozo's warning. We realized the folly of following the ways of science with blind faith, and the peril of all Brio. The contamination left from the battles was spreading, and would soon scour the remaining fertile lands, leaving naught but ash. If left unaided, Brio would lose what few safe lands and water remained. Once more, our great minds turned to a grand task, planetary salvation. As our enemies searched for the lands for us, the last lords of science, we created our final machines and launched them into the heavens. I wonder what that means. Where they unfortunately turned right back around and fell back to our planet. And we're back here again, and then we just drop this thing right there. Huh. I never would have expected that. I guess, technically, we haven't been actively searching. Alright. Now carefully, Samus. Carefully, careful. carefully lower careful. it. Carefully lower it. it. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Nailed it. Jeez! Right in there. I, 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 I forget you're an expert in this, I'm sorry. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> she accidentally pressed the button. Oh, that worked out. You had a lot of faith in physics on that one, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Don't oh. say that, no! It, it worked out, it worked out. Everybody chill. I'm glad there's no one else around who could have seen that. We did all that for an energy cell. That's awesome, though. We love energy cells. We do. We stan energy cells. That's totally based of you. Maybe eventually we'll get to use them and figure out what they're for, but... Oh, I would love that. But, I mean, I I've just been used to collecting weird shit here in Metroid games. I'm like, what are they used for? I don't care. It's here for a reason, I'm sure. I wouldn't pick it up if, if it didn't mean something. I just like collecting stuff, okay? Eight. Wow. Their grand total, ten? There's nine. Nine, okay. One left. Almost there. Because the one you had at the beginning of the game, it would would have been ten, but you needed used. it and used it anyway, yeah, so used it, it doesn't count. Okay, okay. So ten with an asterisk. Yes. <laughs> really, okay. it's nine. Cool. But if you like ten with an asterisk, because you like the number ten, that's fine. But it's nine. So we used it within the context of the game, and we haven't used any of the other ones. Right. Because I think they're on the Valhalla. Okay. I think. Okay. See, I was hoping... Because I've, I've played a few games that do that, where you get these collectibles, they're not usable yet, until you get to the final area, and then all of a sudden it's just like, hey, do you remember those things that you got? And, hey, this is where you use them. Time to get them. Well, even when uh, we did the one-shot of Chameleon Twist, exact same thing. You're collecting, and then in the final level, they actually do something. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're heading to the other part of Brio, because we've taken care of everything here in the dungeon. Dungeon. Jungle. Jungle dungeon. The jungle. We still haven't reached the middle part. <laughs> the middle part's the, 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 Le the Leviathan, I think. That makes sense. And that part where 
definitely not going back to. Yeah, let's not go back there. It's a silly place. It might be kind of, um... I I inhospitable? Destroyed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gone. Con like, if, if you could condemn an area... <laughs> I do wish they would get rid of the landing marker on the map, though. Just to show that you can't go back. This place Nailed is full it. of sun and fire all the time, and how come stuff's still frozen here? That's some cold ice that was brought in here. I don't buy it. Seriously, nine out of ten now? You're losing points by the second Metroid Prime 3 Corruption? You know, I may have to give this an 8.99 if this does if this doesn't stop. If you do not stop, you will incur the wrath of my simply okay. I'm gonna have to give it my very good recommendation, which of course is a death sentence in this industry. Now I'm trying to like rattle off uh, GameSpot scores because they are they are harsh. Like I think a five is called a mediocre. Well, the GameStop is harsh on their scores, but their fan base is even harsher. I, mem I remember the the howling that people had when uh, Game when Game uh, yeah. Spot GameSpot gave Twilight Princess an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Well, that's just Zelda fans, unfortunately. Uh, that game is not an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Yeah, you're right. It's a six. <laughs> that's at least a, that's at least a 9.02738. <laughs> How many decibels can we get in here? How much pie can we give to this video game? I give it a 9 to the 17th power. Yeah, I really like Twilight Princess. It's about what I would give it as a good old 9. Gotta go to Brio Ice. There's uh, one thing I missed, and one thing we need to get. Brr. Oh my god, nobody told me there would be ice here. Uh, there's ice at Brio Ice. I thought there would be drugs. Also, Samus, this hot coffee I'm giving you is hot. Please be careful. It's a good thing she has her various suit on. <laughs> just like, this is what the hazard suit's for, so she can drink coffee. Splashes on her and glows. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine she has the jitters yet. Alright, let's be cool. Okay. Oh, that's sick! That was sick! Yoink! Was that the head we placed on top? What? What? No. Oh. We're somewhere completely different now. Alright, well... I was trying to drop down there, because... It was great! That looks so cool! And I guess we gotta just jump down there and wait. <laughs> One more go. Come on. Wait. It's just a simple little place I just need to... Wait, uh, stop. Whoop. Wait, stop. There. Okay. You barely made that, dude. Okay, it was better than barely, but it's a bit rocky. Yeah, that's the way up, but... <gasps> the good old Spider-Ball track! You say you're liking Spider-Ball tracks? Here's a fun one for you. Ooh, it's got loops, leaps and bounds. Ooh! Ooh. Yeah! Trips you up, too. Yeah, I like uh, it! Uh, hey, all right. How the hell do magnets work? To break some ice in the process. Yeah! Hey, how you doing? I really like your dress. You come here often? Nice icebreaker, man! Hey, hey, hey! No. And... Oh, wait, we can just drop. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I, I thought you had to drop on the ice. But no, you can just drop there. Yep. Yep. Whee! Yep. Ha -wee. Two. Ha three. Ha -wee. Oh, that's ice at the bottom. That's kind of devious. That probably drops yeah. you. Yep. And up here. A quarter pipe. Oh my That's god. called evolution, baby. Oh my god, I love this. Yeah! All for an E-Tank. Brilliant. Then we're done on Brio Ice. Oh my god, we only have space for one more E-Tank. And, really, there's only one more thing left to get on Brio. Oh my gord! We gotta, we, we gotta go a long way, though. Yeah. Hope, you, hope you don't mind. The journey shall be worth it. It's the advent... Okay, have you ever been on a long car ride? Oh, like yes. To, for vacation or whatnot? 
Uh, yes. Do you always feel, like, really good when you're on your way home after all the fun you've had? Coming home is always a nice feeling. And it always feels like it is faster than on the way there. Yeah, I know. I don't know if that's the anticipation making it go slower, or... I know there's, there's a change from when I, uh, I go back into Ohio, you know? Yeah. Just like, ah, the trees are better, the drivers are better, oh, shit, and, shit, shit, shit. and ev everything just feels so clean and nice, and why didn't that work? Why are you not working anymore? Oh, come on! <laughs> why now? Jeez! Metroid Prime 3, can you make me look cooler, please? You've got an 8.9 writing on this now, jeez. <laughs> ah! Oh, All right now, I'll be lucky if it gets on my game at a game of the year yeah, award. Yeah, exactly. Last. Screw you, Metroid Prime. All right now, it's right now, it's turning to be an also ran. <laughs> Come oh on! God! You can even hear the look the, the, the sound that plays when it doesn't fucking work. I don't know why. Why do I have problems at the weirdest times in this game? I don't know. One, it's like, oh, be oh, beat this hard boss, no problem, I, I barely lose an E-take. Get this one pickup. Takes ten minutes for some reason! It's alright, man, it's alright. <sighs> Deep breath. Maybe I'm just sad because it's, it's the last Metroid game. I mean, if you really want to do another Metroid game, there's always pinball. There's always pinball, but you're gonna ship out the 150 bucks for that one? Oh, shit, right. Neither of us have it. Yeah. Crap. Well, let's savor the last Metroid game. Okay. It's back to a 9.5 out of 10. It's back to a 12. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna laugh. I'm, I'm a fraud. I'm not a real game reviewer. I get Metroid Prime 1 a 12,000 out of 15. I get Metroid Prime 2 a 92 million out of 5. I just remember hearing somebody... <laughs> uh, somebody I watch online, they said, uh, uh, that's almost as hot of a take as when I put Dark Souls 2 on my best games of this year award twice, because uh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody likes Dark Souls 2. <laughs> no, I, I just like the thought that just like, oh, I put it on here because it's mine, go to hell. <laughs> fuck you, that's Fuck why. you, that's why. Oh, this must be hotter lava. This is danger lava. Like the hot take that Prime 2 is the best Prime in the series. Hmm. I'm, I'm giving it some thought. It's turning out to be that way, I think. Hmm. I think revisiting it was the best thing that could have happened. Now, what will interest me greatly is if we do get that Prime 2 remaster, will it be as good? Well, I got the Prime 1 remaster. Is it as good? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's just as good. It's amazing what a HD facelift does for a game like does for a game that was good to begin with. Clean up some uh, some textures, change the UI a little bit, add some QOL features that were in later releases, and there you go. Easy as maybe, that. Maybe even add some region exclusive features. A pardon. Oh yeah, and Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, when you uh, show up at at uh, the you load your save game and it shows the where you're at. Well, in the PAL regions, I think it actually narrates where you're at. That's so cool. Talon Overworld. Yeah. Except that they're called Lava Caves. Ice World. I, th I think there's even some opening narration in the, in, in the very first bit. That is correct, yes. I do remember that. But it sounds lame. Don't, don't, don't bother. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts, and they put some thought into it. So I guess that yeah, counts. It counts. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, guys! Yeah, I completely missed that giant, like, disgusting creature throwing a whip at you because the two big old monsters were in its way. It, I honestly thought he glitched out of existence. I forgot these guys could teleport. All right, so we go over here to this phase eye panel. Ooh, can you do this without the X-ray scope? No. Damn. They thought of that. The pattern's randomized, you wouldn't know what you're shooting at anyway. I know, I know. 
But we can only come here after getting the hazard suit anyway. Yeah, this is the not as hot lot. Oh, this is fuel gel. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yoink. And that is Brio. Woo! All right. Another area down. That's right. Oh my god, we're coming to the end. Oh no. Wait, did that hurt? <laughs> did you? That was cool. How did that happen? I, I don't know. I guess the force from my boost hurt it. Maybe the splash from the fuel gel, like, you know, splash. I think it did. Yeah, I, I think it was the know. splash of the gel. Well, some hurt it. That's cool. That is cool. But now we're done here on Brio. I'm pretty sure I got all the lore. Like, I don't think I've missed anything so far. There's still there's still plenty of logbook to fill out though. If anything, right before you go to the, the supposed point of no return, you could always take a look back. It's like, did I get that, 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 and that? There's still plenty of log notes in the point of no return though. Well, hopefully there's a list of ones that are specific to that area that are needed for a hundred percent versus. You see, I believe that all the pickups are outside of the point of no return, but the log, the logbook continues in the final world. You know, that makes a lot of sense. So, let's uh, look at them for next time. Oh, finally these things, if you uh, didn't have a, didn't have a shot, that might be the last chance you have if you haven't scanned them yet. But next time in Metroid Prime 3, we're going to head to Elysia to finish off the little bit we have left there. And then we're heading to the GFS Valhalla to take a poke around there. We're coming upon the end. There's not much left. We'll see you next time. Savor the 9.5. 9.6.